Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode on the Scan Tool Network. In this video, as you probably already worked out, I'm gonna give you 10 things to consider before buying an OBD2 diagnostic tool. Let's get into it. Now it can be quite confusing if you are looking to buy one of these tools because you go onto eBay, you go onto Amazon, you go onto Diagnostic World and you know these, these tools are flooding the market. There are so many different brands with so many different capabilities. It can be quite difficult to understand which tool is the best for you. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my personal recommendation to show you which tool I would personally recommend uh, if I was in the market for one of these diagnostic tools. So the first thing we're gonna look at is system coverage. Now, depends on how much you pay for a tool. Generally, the more you pay for a tool, the more coverage you will get. For example, this is the iCarsoft i800 tool. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put links to all of these kits in the description below just to make it a bit easier for you. This is the i800 kit. Now, although it does cover a lot of vehicles, it only covers one system. It covers the engine system only. And this is gonna be no good if, for example, you've got an airbag light or an ABS light. If you've got, like I say, an airbag or ABS light, you need a system with more capabilities. This is the version 1.0 kit by iCarsoft, and the version 1.0 kit series, they will cover single manufacturers, but they will cover a wide range of systems. So, you know, you'll get your engine, ABS, airbags, transmission, air suspension, parking sensors, whatever, basically whatever system that car has installed, the version 1.0 tools will cover those systems. So it is important when buying a tool to make sure that the tool itself does cover the system that you're actually looking to diagnose or reset. A quick question to the seller, or maybe just a quick browse through the item description should give you the answer. Next up, we're looking at vehicle coverage. So. Obviously, if you've got a Mercedes-Benz, you need to be looking for a specific Mercedes-Benz diagnostic package. So say for example, this one again, this is the MB version 1.0 kit, covers Mercedes-Benz, Smart and Sprinter because they are all linked together. It covers those manufacturers. If for example, you had a BMW, this really wouldn't be any good. You need to find a tool which has your specific vehicle in mind. Now, although this kit does cover Mercedes-Benz, let's say, for example, you had a Mercedes-Benz, a BMW, and an Audi you needed to diagnose. Well, you can buy and factor in um, multi-vehicle scan tools as well. So this is an example of one of those. This is the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. This will cover a wide range of manufacturers, but it will also cover a wide range of systems within those manufacturers as well. So this kit will do everything that the version 1.0 kit will do. You may also be familiar with the version 2.0 iCarsoft tools. Everything from the, the 1.0 and the 2.0 is covered in the CR Pro. So it just, it just brings a lot more software into one single tool for all of the vehicles and all of the systems within those vehicles. This is the iCarsoft CR Pro. Now the next thing we're gonna be looking at is future proofing. Let's say for example, right now you have a 2015 Mercedes-Benz C-Class, in which case this tool would be absolutely fine. But let's say three or four years down the line in 2023, 2024, let's say you wanna to upgrade to a newer Mercedes-Benz. Will this tool be suitable? Well, it all really depends on the specific tool that you go for. So what you need to look at is a tool which will uh, support future updates because there are tools out there which don't support updates and what you get, what you see in the box and on the screen is what you will get and what you will be stuck with. So look for a tool which has updates for future software and future vehicles if you are looking to future-proof your tool. And while I'm touching on future-proofing and updates, make sure you check to see which tools come with free updates, which tools you have to pay for updates. Uh, so the, the range of tools that I've got here, like the iCarsoft range, you'll always get free updates with the iCarsoft range, the CR Pro, the CR1, the CR2 in any case, or the version one and the version two. Um, also with the Autel MD808 Pro, this kit will give you free lifetime updates. This is a little bit more of a professional tool. This is the MK808 covers more systems, more vehicles, more special functions, and you will have to pay life, uh, you will get 
Updates for this one, free for the first year. After that, I think it's about £130 per year. Next up is warranty. You should get at least a one year warranty with all of these tools. To be honest with you, they are really well built. They will work as they are described. In my experience with working with these tools, you know, there's only ever been a handful of tools where, you know, the screen LCD might fail or something like that. Um, but you will always get a one year warranty with these tools. Again though, make sure it's in the listing, make sure it's in the description or check with the seller that you will get a warranty with these tools because the last thing you wanna be doing is opening your tool up again in six, seven, eight months time and find it just completely doesn't work. So make sure you've got a warranty. Next up is pricing. This is quite an important factor when obviously choosing a tool. I mentioned this tool earlier. Um, this is probably the lowest end tool you can get. A tool like this will only cover the engine system as I mentioned, so you will pay less for this. Um, this, I think this retails at about £50, something like that. As you come on to the version 1.0 tools, these, as I say, cover single manufacturers but more systems. So you'll generally pay about £99 for these. If you want to go for a system which covers all vehicles and all systems, this one is a, good, is a good option, but this costs about £260. All of the prices I'm giving you now are subject to change, obviously. Um, then we come to the MD808 Pro Kit. This is three, retailing at £350. And then we're looking at a more professional, but still easy to use for a DIYer, uh, but a more professional tool. You're looking at about £400 for this one. Um, obviously, the more, the more you pay, the more you're gonna get out of the tool. So the more functionality that the tool is gonna offer, depending on the price you pay. So if you're paying a you know, if you're paying you know, over a thousand pounds or two thousand pounds, you're really going to be looking at a really high end uh, garage or dealer level specific tool. Um, anything under sort of, <coughs> excuse me, 400 pounds, you're probably looking at very small level garage and certainly the DIY range. Next up, we're looking at the portability of the tools and the ease of use. Most tools these days or most tools will have a bit like this, where you can just pick it up and you can start diagnosing a car. Uh, run a cable from the tool into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. That's generally how you will use these tools. All of these tools are the same. They run a cable from the tool to the diagnostic port. You can get kits which hook up to laptops where the software is built into the laptop. But to be honest with you, I find those quite cumbersome and quite um, not really easy to use because you know, you're, you're in a small confined area. And what you really want is just something with a small screen. That's what I would recommend going for. Generally as well, you'll find that software packages for laptops are generally fake and Chinese clones of the dealer level software, which will never work properly. And these plug and play, you know, you can keep them in the glove box, whereas a laptop, you've also got to consider the laptop costs, uh, having the battery charged, things like that. Now, some of these tools do have what is known as special functions. Special functions go over and above the standard level of diagnostics you'd get for one of these tools. So say for example, the standard diagnostics is to be able to diagnose and reset warning lights and fault codes in the engines, the airbags, the ABS transmission, and other systems within those cars. The special functions are things like being able to carry out a DPF regeneration, carrying out a steering angle sensor reset, electronic parking brake opening and closing, injector coding, ABS brake bleeding, something where you're actually changing a system or changing something within the vehicle to carry out a specific function. So they are special functions and you'll generally only get those in the higher end tools. So the CR Pro does it, the MD808 Pro does it, and the MK808 does it. These three all have special functions. Now, depending on where you buy it has a big impact on the level of help and support you'll get. So for example, if you buy the Diagnostic World, you will get help from designated engineers who are trained on how to use these tools and how to uh, fix faults and potential bugs in the systems. If you were to go to something like eBay or Amazon, um, not a genuine listing through Amazon, then you're not gonna get any help or support at all, unfortunately. So stick with one of the links below. You'll go to Diagnostic World or a genuine kit, which is on Amazon. And last on the list, you may or may not be aware that all of these tools are subject to being cloned and faked. Unfortunately, it is a, a massive problem where we see uh, clones and fake tools flooding the market at such a lower price. The chances are they may work once or twice, but the screens and the quality of the components that are being installed into these components, 
they're a lot lesser quality than the actual genuine tools. Plus, fake tools, you won't get any help or support. It might fry the ECU on your vehicle, on your 10,000, 15,000 pound vehicle. You're not gonna get that because these tools have all the certifications, they have all the inbuilt protection um, that you would expect of one of these tools if you're hooking it up to an expensive car. Um, so make sure you go to somewhere like Diagnostic World or I'll even put links to the Amazon, these kits on Amazon as well, if you were to make sure it's linking to a genuine listing as well uh, where you will get a genuine product. So for my personal recommendation, I'm gonna go for one of these tools here. This is the iCarsoft CR Pro. As I mentioned earlier, it covers uh, a wide range of vehicles and within those vehicles, it covers a wide range of systems. It also does special functions. You know, it does things like DPF regeneration, oil service reset, electronic park and brake, steering angle re uh, sensor reset. Uh, and certain vehicles, it will do ABS brake bleeding and um, injector coating as well. Uh, this tool, as I say, £260, link in the description. This tool is just under £400, it's £399 right now. This is more of a dealer level tool, it doubles up as a tablet, but you do get a lot more special functions over and above this here. Um, so these are the two tools, depending on your personal circumstance, will depend on which tool you ultimately decide to go for. Um, me personally, say for example, if I had two or three cars to look after, uh, I wasn't really, really that knowledgeable and sort of wanted to go into too much depth, then I would say certainly the iCars of CR Pro is suitable. If you do have a bit of background and uh, knowledge and experience on working with cars, and you wanna get the most out of a tool um, and perform the most possible functions on your vehicle when servicing and looking after and repairing, then I would say certainly go for this one. This is the MK808 CR Pro. There's about 140 pounds price difference between the two, but I do feel if you do need the additional uh, functionality, then this is definitely worth it. But both tools ultimately um, are my personal recommendations uh, because they are just great tools. So I hope you've taken something from this video. As I say, all of the links to these kits are in the description below this video. Um, it, as I say, it can be quite confusing to know which tool to go for or what level of uh, vehicle or system coverage to go for. And I hope that's maybe answered uh, one or two of those questions. But if you do have any further questions, what I would recommend is uh, going on to Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com. Those guys will answer a lot of emails with regards to these tools and they'll give you a personal recommendation for which tool is best for your needs uh, and your vehicle and your system coverage. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you next time on the Scan Tool Network YouTube channel.